Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a reflection on your text or object or whatever you want to do. It gives it a really nice effect, I use it quite a lot. Um, hope you find it useful. Right, we're going to open up the text tool or press T on your keyboard to do that. Um, give it, I'm just going to type plus one tutorials. Make that a bit bigger. By a bit, I mean quite a lot. Alright, so I'm using the font Corbel on bold, but not quite bold enough for me. So we'll give it a stroke of black and 0.3 stroke. Yes, yeah, good enough, I guess. What we're going to do is right click it, uh, create outlines, um, object, path, and outline stroke. We're going to go to Pathfinder. If you can't see that, just go to Window, Pathfinder. Click on this one here. So I just clicked it there. Now everything's joined up. Just going to change the color quickly. That's uh, quite nice blue. Do that one. And what we're going to do is select all of the selection tool here. Control C to copy and Control F to paste in front so it pastes exactly where it is. What we're going to do is right click that because we're on the one on top now. That one selected. We're going to go to transform, reflect, horizontal. That's that top one flipped. We'll just notch that down with the arrow key. It's about there, that looks good. We can always sort it. Just the U, the O, and the like, curve sort of letters always a bit lower than the hard bottoms. So if it goes over this, it'll look quite silly for the curved ones. Right, so anyway, what I want to do is uh, lock this object. We'll do that by pressing Control and 2. That's unlocked, we can't do anything with that now, but we can still use this one. And um, with this we're going to what we're going to do, yeah, so we're going to hold down on the shape tool, go to the rectangle, right here, and draw a box, fill it with a gradient. Press G for your gradient tool, right, so, and make sure it is 100% black for the mask we're going to do. Didn't need to do that there. Messing up here, I don't really matter about that. Anyway, what we're going to do is keep our finger on shift, and drag down to about here. Or obviously, your desired the white, just to let you know the white will show through, the black will show nothing, the grey, the midtones will show slight amounts dependent, just transparent, dependent on the, the, the hue, I guess, the, how dark it is. So, to give a good effect, I'll put it about there. I'll always keep my finger on shift as I'm going up and down. Go to your selection tool. And make sure all this is selected. What we want to do now is go to your transparency option. If you can't see that, just go to window. Uh, find transparency. There it is there. Just click that. You can do a shortcut you'll probably never ever use. Um, so let's click here. What I want to do is go to this one here. Looks, it's got an arrow with lines next to it. Zoom in that for you, right? And we're going to choose Make Opacity Mask. And what's that? That's done is it's made where the black was. That's completely gone. But where the grey tones are, as you can see, zoom in a bit there. It's a nice gentle gradient to the full color where it was fully white. Zoom out there. What I'm doing to zoom in there, I just press Z and just clicked and clicked and dragged. And to zoom out and press, keep my finger on Alt and tapping and clicking. Well, tapping for me because I've got my graphics tablet, but let's get rid of this. And obviously, that doesn't look very real, so to make it look real, all we've got to do is select it with the selection tool, go to opacity, put it down to maybe about 40%. 
and depending on what you're doing, you might want to make it a bit less than that. See right there? Looks pretty good, eh? And that is how you make reflection to. Oh, and don't forget to unlock this layer because you still can't use this. You do that by pressing Control, Alt, and Two, and that's that's how it's done. To be on the safe side, just group these by select them all, and Control G to do that. That's ready to be used. Um, thanks for watching.